You're watching Sunday Sound Off with Frank Bull. Hey here, one. Welcome to Sunday Sound Off, where you get a chance to be part of the conversation on everything sports. Tweet us your questions and comments using the hashtag Sunday Sound Off. Let's introduce tonight's panel sitting in the big seat one more time. Seren Petro, Sports Radio 810 WHB from 10 to 2 every day on the program. Seren, how are you today? I'm doing well. Happy I feel New good. Year. Yeah, happy New Year to you as well. I feel no. good. My prediction that the Royals and Chiefs would make the playoffs in the same year came true, huh? We get one right every now and then. Really? Yeah. I think I missed that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, TJ, <laughs> TJ Carpenter from Sports Night and covering all things Kansas City sports. TJ, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. You know, uh, I, I got a, I won a couple of friendly wagers this weekend oh. as my Arkansas Razorbacks defeated the oh, Kansas boy. State Wildcats. All right, I got you. Mark Bo Richter, former chief, also does the football analyst for the Sports Radio 810 WHB. Mark, how are you? I'm good, Frank. All thought out uh, from the, the game this afternoon. Uh, you, you, you're looking very studious tonight. I want my TJ. <laughs> Car I like this, my, this is my TJ Carpenter outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, please don't get there. Okay, gentlemen. Here are hot topics of the evening. Do the Chiefs need Justin Houston to beat the Houston Texans? What worries you most about the Texans? And is this potentially Bill Self's best team at the University of Kansas? But first, our question of the week: How far can the Chiefs go? In the playoffs, Ram, what do you think? One, two, three, Super Bowl. You know, I mean, how far can they go? They yeah. can go all the way. I mean, uh, I think this year is looking very wide open. When you see how mediocre the Packers just looked on Sunday Night Football, they've got the great Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, but they're clearly a fallible football team. The Broncos are bouncing around from quarterback to quarterback over on the AFC side. The Patriots have lost two in a row. You know, I think the, the AFC is completely wide open. So if they can get hot, I think they can make their way through there. I don't like the way Seattle's playing right now. I think Arizona's pretty tough. Those two teams, I wouldn't like the Chiefs' chances against if it got uh, all the way to the Super Bowl. But, you know, this is a year that I think it's wide open. And if they can be healthy, and we're going to talk about Justin Houston a little bit later on, if they're healthy, I think they can beat uh, anyone out there. And it's just a matter of each game. They're already a favorite down in Houston. So I think you like what the Chiefs are doing. You like the way Alex Smith bounced back after a couple of interceptions. And I think Chiefs fans should be confident in everything other than the fact that it's been since 1994 that they won a playoff game. TJ, I hear a lot of people talk about the two most dangerous teams in the AFC are the two wildcard teams, the Chiefs and the Steelers. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think that that's true to a certain extent. We've seen it in the past that NFL teams that get hot at the end of the year can end up using that in the postseason. But I also think, too, that if you're trying to answer this question as a fan, you need to steer away from gambler's logic, which is thinking that since they've won so many games in a row, they're due for a loss. And I, I know it makes a lot of people nervous that they're in the postseason, they haven't won a game in 22 years, but look at the matchups. The matchups favor the Chiefs in multiple ways. This is a team they've already beaten. They have, a, a, I think, a firm advantage defensively against the Texans offense. And I think, too, that if you take a look at what the Chiefs offense does, aside from the anomaly today where Alex Smith threw, threw, picks, uh, threw two picks in a row, uh, they've been very, very uh, comfortable with the football in their hands and been able to get enough points. They got three touchdowns today. Let's not act like this, this Chiefs offense does absolutely nothing when they have the ball. Mark, how far do you think they can go to playoffs? Well, I think the AFC race is wide open. When you look at uh, across the board with New England and all the injuries they've had to deal with, and, and we all know the quarterback situation in Denver, you know, with Peyton coming in today and, quote, leading them to a victory. But I think he's still, you know, finishing the top three in the league in interceptions and after not playing since week 10. So there's a lot of question marks around the, the AFC in this playoff aspect. And if you're the Chiefs and you're a fan of the Chiefs, I think you've got to feel extremely confident, number one, that you're the fifth seed and uh, going to Houston here to take on a team that, that uh, obviously had won three straight. But I think you feel that you can handle. And then as you look at the, the rest of the, uh, the playoff potential matchups there, I don't think there's a team in this uh, – in this playoff picture right now in the AFC, that's truly the favorite. Uh, you know, Denver had to win today and had to have a New England loss to get the number one seed. So I think it's completely wide open, and I think uh, it's a pretty good probability this team could get a win for the first time since 94. Yeah, the amazing thing, too, Denver could have gone anywhere from getting home field advantage being number one seed all the way down to the playoffs. So you, it was a wild final Sunday, that's for sure. You, you know, Frank, I'm not sure what gamblers TJ's talking to because all the ones I know, <laughs> you ride a streak or you get out of the way of the streak. So I, I think they're going to be on that. And look, let's be honest, they're playing the worst team that's in the AFC. The Chiefs have to win this game. As a franchise, as an organization, it's long overdue. They have to beat the Texans. They're already a favorite on the road. There's no excuses if they don't. Oh, boy. Up next, our hot topics. You're watching Sunday Sound Off.